What's up guys? Have you guys ever experienced something like this? Check it out. So you're getting in your car, right? You're getting ready to go. First thing you do is start up the car and then you grab for your seatbelt. But do any of you actually experience this noise? Do you experience that noise on a daily basis? Just to get on your seatbelt? It shouldn't be that way. And just like tears to your freaking soul, migraine out of hell. Just bam. Just get it on as quick as you can and just stop squeaking that. So we're actually gonna diagnose the issue today and see what the heck is causing that. God awful squeak. Let's go on ahead and start tearing stuff apart. Okay, so we're gonna start by popping out this clip here that holds on the floorboard, and that'll be one step closer to getting this plastic piece off. Forgive all that dirt and stuff over here. That's just from the other day when I did some <laughs> did some donuts. So anyways, I'm gonna go on ahead, remove this clip, and see what else I have to do next. Very carefully. I really need one of those panel tools. Gets this clips off easy, but these are actually two-step clips. There's one piece, and then that little plastic piece has to come out also. Let's see if that'll come out for me. Yes, it will. So there's the other piece to that. I'm going ahead and connect this here so I don't lose any pieces. There it is. So there's one. Let's go find the other one. You know what? I'm just going to move my car out of the garage just a little bit so I can at least open up my doors all the way. Because I, I need to get into these little crevices here. So it'll just make it easier on me. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like there's another clip here. It's a freaking a big one. I don't even know. Try to twist it. It looks like a flathead top there. Unscrew. Unscrew pull. Okay, it's an endless screw. It just keeps spinning. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, so it's literally, it just screws right off the a little stud there. So now let's try and pull this back here. But we will just continue to pull this off. Carefully. Okay, I got the first trim piece off. Exposes some wires, and it also allows us to get to this piece now. Because it was overlapping on here. So let's move on to the next step and see what else is holding this piece on. Alright, we moved on to the back now. See one more clip here. I'm going to get out. Yeah, these clips really do, they come out pretty easy. You don't really find yourself breaking them, or I don't anyway. One clip. Okay, so I don't see any more, nothing else holding this on except probably some little snap-on things under the plastic. Okay, let's go on ahead and start pulling some stuff off. I'm gonna start down here, I guess. No. Oh, okay, we gotta go over here because that one's overlapping this piece. Actually, I don't need to go any further with this piece. So I just need to get to this. Just kind of back it off. Bam, look at that. Any spiders living in here? <laughs> no, no spiders. Okay, so it literally just, just folded back from the frame and bam, there it goes. Now to diagnose what's making that squeaking noise. Well, let's see what it sounds like. So obviously it's not gonna make any noise because it's not rubbing up against anything. So it has to be something on this piece here. It's probably rubbing against something like this, but it's hard to believe how that makes that annoying squeak like that. So I guess I'm gonna go on ahead and start by just cutting this piece back a little bit. We'll try the top one and see if that makes any difference. Good old knife in my pocket. Little pocket knife I carry around. All right, let's trim it down a little bit. Okay, well maybe that was enough. Trimmed it down quite a bit. Let's go ahead and put it in place and see if we get any squeakage. Let's see if it goes on just as easy as it came off. Probably doesn't. Okay. So far so good. So it was that just that little piece of plastic, that little lip on the top. 
That's what was causing that squeak. Well, that was an easy fix. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more involved than this. Well, I'm glad it wasn't <laughs> so hard. These dang Subaru seats literally eat everything. You drop something and it's gone for good. Found like a couple CDs, little gift card thing. What is this? Rubber band? What the heck is that from? So yeah, it's always a mystery what you're gonna find under these seats. Let's pop everything back on and uh, get this thing all squared away. Snap off, snap on. Let's go ahead and add a clip back in here. Goes on this side. All right, everything snapped on, good to go. Let's move on to the front. Make sure to line up your plastic piece on this side too. It has to come around this lip. Like so. Finish it off down here. Oops. There we go. Grab our little plastic trim piece here. I'm gonna feed it back on. Make sure these tabs here don't get snapped off when you're inserting them in here. Cause that would suck. Alrighty then, that's all it takes, a little snapping. Now we're gonna add our little clip in here. And then the last piece goes around over here. Just screws onto the stud. Alrighty then guys, I think we are through. Okay guys, we are all done with today's video. The last thing we need to do is give it a quick test. And I think we have a great success here. No squeak, everyone's happy. Only took five minutes, I call it the five minute quick squeak fix. So, thanks for checking out the video today guys. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. And we'll catch you on the next video. I'm going to do the thing that all the other YouTubers do. Peace out. No? So, uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. Bam! <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we'll see you on the next video. So, uh, later. <laughs> Quick squeak fix. Here we go. <laughs> later. Wish me luck.